at Eddie's soldiers. I don't know if you can read this with my ring light, but it says, It's not drinking alone if your cat's home. My cat is home. I'm not sure where, but she's somewhere in my house. And I'm gonna count that, so cheers. It's Saturday night. Uh, I am alone. There are no friends here. Um, and this is my second glass of wine. And while sitting on my bed drinking wine, I looked at my bookshelf and some small drunken part of me was like, you know what that needs? It needs a book purge. My hair is coated in hairspray. My makeup is breaking up. Um, I took my nose ring out. I'm wearing a rainbow sweater. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know how this video is gonna go, but I was, might as well film something, right? So here it goes, happy weekend. I said this before because I've done a couple of book purges on this channel within like the last year. I love books, so I buy a lot of them. I go thrifting a lot so I can get a lot of them for pretty cheap. Friends know that I love books so they'll buy me things, and I also get a lot of these for free because I work with companies that will give me advanced copies. I've also mentioned in those book unhauls that for the most part, if I like a book, I'll keep it because I know that I'm gonna have to talk about it at some point within the next couple of months. The last ones I got really tough with myself and I completely cut out everything that I thought that I didn't need or didn't like anymore, and I was being so free, uh, but yet my shelves are still incredibly full and I was just looking at it being like, Rachel, just, you gotta get rid of stuff. The more wine I drink, uh, the tipsier I get and the more my filter disintegrates. So I think the standard I'm gonna hold this up to as if, did it make me feel feelings or can I see myself actually rereading it? So grab a drink like I have, grab a snack like I probably need, and without further ado, bottoms up. Let's get started. Because I already have my camera set up right here, I think we're gonna start with, with this shelf. Well, first of all, we're keeping the skull, obviously. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of this stack. This is a good, solid stack. We got some Sabata here, we got some Jenna Maresi, and then we got, of course, my friend Aaron Latimer, good friend author Aaron Latimer. I'm also gonna be keeping the entire Loom Saga by Elise Kova because steampunk dragons can't be beat. All my Maggie Steve otters are saying, obviously, but I think in here there's a couple that I can get rid of. So I think I'm gonna get rid of Frostblood by Ellie Blake because while this was good, I don't want to reread it and I've never read the rest of the series. I also think I'm gonna get rid of Storm Dancer because I love me some Jay Kristoff, but like this was just all right and I have never picked up the sequel. People are gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna get rid of Graceling because I don't <laughs> really like it that much. But people are like, oh God, it's one of the L O G Y A whatever it needs to, everyone needs to read it. And I'm like, it was fine. Along with Rule by Ellen Godlit Goodlit. This is just, like a solid book, but I never picked up the sequel and like I never remember it until I see it on my shelf. So this is gonna go to a better home. Mm, yeah, we're gonna keep Blanca and Roja because fantastic queer representation. Oh wow, we have so much space already. All right, let's move down a shelf because I don't wanna move my camera yet. I can't get rid of any of my V.E. Schwabs. So all of these are staying because she is like God tier. Samantha Shannon is also God tier, so she's staying. But here we have a couple books by Rashi Chakshi, which, good, but I'm not in love. See, of Brass, we have the Flame, Candle of Flame, Wrath and Dawn, those are all staying. I think I'm going to get rid of the Demon Race and Mirage, because I wanted this to be more and it wasn't. And I never remember this one. I'm real sorry, Samaya Dodd. This was a good book though, like, it was real good. Wow, look, space. Now I wonder if I look back at this footage tomorrow and there's just a giant ass stack of books on my floor if I'm gonna regret any of these decisions. But you know what? That's a problem for later, Rachel. I think the camera is far enough back that you can see this whole shelf. So let's go through those ones. These are mostly contemporaries and like some weird, weird shit over here. All right, let's just, okay, let's see. Uh, What we buried. This is a thriller that I think I liked. Maybe I'll keep this one. Getting rid of the program. Oh, do I keep Girl in Fire of Thorns? Yeah, I should reread this. I honestly should, so I'll keep it. Oh, baby, look at this deck. Oh, she thick. Eh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, well, okay, keeping Gravity of Us, because this is my new favorite contemporary of the year. Oh, I'm keeping Black Iris. Actually, I'm not gonna keep Black Iris. It's fucked up. We'll keep Cam Girl, because I did like that one. Um, keeping Deeper and Harder, because these are some of my favorite new adult novels. Keeping Starfish, even though it should be Sea Star. I'm gonna get rid of Looking for Alaska. Like, fuck it, why not? It's 2020 and I don't need this on my shelf anymore. I'm gonna get rid of I Hunt Killers because I don't remember if I like this or not. Keeping Rose Tainted Skies. Getting rid of Vanishing Girls. 
Uh, let's get rid of Heretics Anonymous because it was fun, but like, I'm not impressed. Definitely keeping Ramona Blue. Uh, I think I'll donate Handsome Girl and Her Beautiful Boy. This was a really good one though. Fantastic queer representation, but the the overall plot was like a little weird. Obviously I have to keep the hate you give, like, duh, that's not even a choice. And keeping love interest, keeping girl out of water, keeping red, white, and royal blue, keeping I wish you all the best, keeping the reliers, through the ants, where all the girls, and then I'm gonna keep all these. Yeah. While we're over here, can I just highly recommend Stations Eleven and Book of M? Just, ooh, toast to you! Emily St. John Mandel and Peng Shepherd. Wow, look at that gap! That is sexier than any thigh gap I have ever seen. Hi, pumpkin! Where's Meter? <gasps> See? I'm not drinking alone, internet! How's Muffin doing? Let's move this way. But first. All right, I'm ready. Ooh. I also sincerely apologize at all of the strange angle changes that are gonna be going on in this video. I welcome you to the shelf that's at eye level right now. So it currently holds this another embroidery that I did and my one and only Funko Pop that I have allowed myself to buy. This is another shelf that I don't wanna get rid of anything on because we have all the Lenny Taylor except for my other book, Andrew, give it back. My Ride or Die Scott Lynch, we have a bunch of fantastic fantasy novels, so everything on here is staying. However, up there, this, I'm gonna slim this down a little. This is my contemporary shelf. And yes, it does seem biased that I'm getting rid of a bunch of contemporaries, but you know what? I never read them, okay? Everyone knows I read less than or equal to a contemporary a year, and I'm already at my limit of two. Let me just tilt this back a little bit. Ah. Better. First we take off the decorative leaves. So all three of my Adam Silveras are 100% staying because he's wonderful. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Fallen Our Stars. Like, you know what? New year, new me. Um, I don't need this anymore and I don't feel the existential pressure of not having it on my shelf. Definitely keeping Gigarella because it was adorable. Keeping Sun is also a star. Keeping My Life Next Door. Girl Man is star. Summer of Salt. Girl Man's up! However, this is one of the first books I ever read that had a female queer main character, which is why I kept it for so long, because I haven't been able to find that anywhere else. However, I am just, I'm not gonna reread it ever, so it's gonna go. <sighs> Cat hair, <sighs> get off. I'm currently drinking Blauberg wine, because it is from South Africa and reminds me of the time that I lived there for a little while. I guess I should have said this before I started the video. I know I look barely legal, but I am 24, okay? There is no underage drinking happening in this video, YouTube. Just pipe down. The one that I automatically know I'm gonna get rid of is Things We Know By Heart because I was underwhelmed. I think I will keep the rest of what's on that shelf, though. All right, moving on to the Sarah J Maas shelf. Cool. okay. New camera angle. Just have to crouch a little bit. So none of the Sarah J Maas is moving. I know that. This is- it's staying here. I will not get rid of it. Actually, I am gonna get rid of one and I'm going to get rid of the Assassin's Blade, the short stories. Whoop, what was that? I'm gonna get rid of this one because I just, I need, I needed it obviously because it existed, but I don't. I do not need this. This is in good condition, we'll go to a good home. Slower Guard of Silent Things and Boneless Mercies are obviously staying, as is this candle that smells like rice sand. And rice sand, let me tell you, smells like a hot guy out of the shower, which I suppose he is in most of the book. Then we have all my editions of Patrick Rothfuss and Jay Kristoff, which I'm keeping. However, I think the thing I'm not gonna keep is, oh, oh, can I even get it out? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get rid of Force of a Thousand Lanterns and Legacy of Kings because I'm not gonna reread them ever and I haven't and I'm glad I read them, but that's about it. Lovely, there's a couple more books that will go to a good home. All right, moving down. I have to move the camera again. Hello, we are almost on my floor. So this shelf here is the fairy shelf. While I am loath to admit that I did not like a fairy book, uh, some of them I actually don't. So we're gonna weed that down today. I can't get rid of these two. These are wonderful, as is the entire Bear and the Nightingale series. Wow. I am going to get rid of, uh, so might be surprising to some people, the Hazelwood, because I didn't like this book. I had, oh, uh, so much wasted potential! Angry drinking. And the Goblins of Bellwater was creepy and wonderful, but I don't think I'm ever going to reread it, so... Despite how... Oh, it's so shiny and beautiful! I think I am also going to get rid of Winter Song because this was, like, so damn... Do I get rid of this? It was such a good book about, like, mental illness and depression and, like, German heritage. 
No, no, we're gonna keep it. Maybe I'll regret that later, but I'm gonna keep it. I am going to keep it. Yes, it feels right. Okay, I don't know if I can actually like get my camera down more, so we're just gonna do a giant tilt. I'm literally just gonna hold this uh, while I do this, so. Things we get up to on Saturday nights, am I right? Back here is my entire Stolen Songbird series by Danielle L. Jensen, which I think I will keep. Dream Needle is definitely keeping. However, the Gateway Through Which They Came is a book that I died over when it came out, and then I don't even remember what this is about. I don't even remember liking it that much, so... Cool cover aside, this is going to go. The Summoning I'm keeping for nostalgia reasons. Uh, I just finished The Goblet Emperor, so we're keeping that. I'm keeping Mistborn. I'm gonna get rid of Sabriel. I'm gonna do it. Just watch me. There it goes. And, alright, this this shelf down here. These are all my vampire romance novels, which we are keeping. Ugly series, which we're definitely keeping. Young Elites series. What do I do with this? Ah, I remember really loving Rose Society, so I'm gonna keep those for now and maybe reread them. Yeah, I'm gonna task myself to reread those and maybe I'll get rid of them later. All right, all right, Divergent. Do I keep this? It's been with me for so long, this is my original copy. No, that's okay. I will get rid of it. I think I will keep the selection just so I can hate read it later. I'm actually also gonna get rid of the Hunger Games, because you know what? Fuck that shit. I'm so done with this. I don't really- I didn't really like the books that much. The movies are banging and so good, but I'm never gonna reread them, hence why I got rid of all the sequels last year. I'm gonna keep Legend for nostalgia. My house edition of Harry Potter I'm keeping. I'm gonna get rid of Flame in the Mist. Don't ask me why this is here. This is not a fantasy shelf. But you know what? It's like late, so I don't know either. I didn't like this as much as I wanted to, so we're gonna get rid of that. Plus it's in like beautiful condition. Hello, I take wonderful care of my books, just saying. And you know what? 13 Reasons Why can also go. I got this at a thrift shop months after the TV series started because I was like, well, I have to have a copy of it, obviously. It needs to be on my shelf to show that I have it. And like, I've never reread it or shown it in any video since I bought it. So, gone. Hello and welcome to the other side of my shelf. All right, I level shelf first. I'm gonna stand on this side. Yes, good. Hostess behavior. Winterwood, Sawkill Girls, and Bells. Actually, you know, I'm not gonna keep the Bells. I'm not gonna do it. I haven't reread it. I thought it was fine, but like, it's gone now. Here. On. Keeping that. Keeping all these. These are solid. Warcross and Wild Card. Marie Lou, I do really love you, and I did just get Kingdom of Back, which I will be reading and I've heard amazing things about. This was so fun. Oh, do I keep these? Do I keep these? Do I keep these? I will keep Warcross. Yes, I will keep Warcross. I swear I'm not drunk. I'm just tipsy and really passionate about books. One of the best books of last year. Oh, everything about this makes me so happy. 100% keeping. However, Ready Player One. So Ernest Klein is a garbage human, so let's get rid of this one, shall we? Yeah, let's go up here. Ow. What is this? What is this? Hello? Hello? No, I have two calyx at the back of my head, and now they decide to act up. Obviously keeping Illuminae and Gemina. Uh, definitely keeping the whole Cinder series. Definitely keeping the Diabolic and the Empress. Uh, Renegades can stay for now. Even if I'm not gonna read the third one. And I guess the whole Red Queen series, which is over there, is going to stay too. Because I met Victoria Aveyard and she's bomb. And it was also such a good series. I suppose now we move on to this shelf. Let me readjust my camera. Firstly, on this shelf we have... My watch. So we're gonna move that. Oh, here's my nose ring. Let's just put that in. Let's just pop that in, shall we? Oh, perfect. All right, let's keep going. Okay, keeping Gentleman's Guide, keeping Three Dark Crowns, Light Between Worlds, yes. In the Dawn, yes. Equinorth, yes. Ladies' Guide, yes. One Dark Throne, yes. I will keep this. I have not read the other two in the series because I was promised a duology and I feel ripped off. Shadow Queen is one of the most incredibly underrated fairy tale retellings ever, so we're keeping this one. Keeping Passenger and Wayfarer, but I don't think I'm gonna keep the girl from everywhere. So this little fun kind of like interim place here, I'm gonna get rid of these two. I'm gonna get rid of Vasa in the Night and I'm gonna get rid of Cruel Beauty because I, again, did like both of these. I really like Cruel Beauty. I think it's really interesting. Oh no, I'm talking myself into it. No, I haven't reread it. I haven't touched it. 
since like years. So no, it's fine. We're, it's, we're getting rid of it. But on this shelf, I think I'm going to keep all that's here. Actually, no, I'm going to get rid of Shadow of the Fox because I don't remember it. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, all right, let's move down again. Hello, and once again, welcome to my floor. This is a weird shelf over here. This is where the, I don't know where this goes, books go, you know, everybody has them. So working from this way over, I'm gonna keep the disappearances, but you know what? Ocean at the end of the lane and Neverwhere are freaking weird. And I don't really want to reread them ever. So I like you Neil Gaiman, but like, I don't like these ones. Definitely keeping Good Omens and American Gods. Those are the best Neil Gaiman books at me. But every exception is new, so we're keeping that one. Loved, loved Ink in the Blood, so we're definitely keeping this one. Uh, the Angel Fall series is one of the most underrated, creepy as fuck book series I've ever read. So we're keeping these ones because I love them. Despite having a banging cover, I'm gonna get rid of because I didn't really like it that much. Woo, tea. Uh, all the stars and teeth. I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. However, ooh, hot take, Gracier and Fallen Kingdoms I'm going to get rid of because I didn't really like this book that much. Despite being part of the blog tour. I'm so sorry, Kim Legit. It was good, but then the ending was like, what the fuck is happening right now? And like, no, you know? And Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes has been hyped as like the... George R. R. Martin series. This is like YA Game of Thrones and like <laughs> incest is not cool in an adult series and it's not cool in a YA series. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm saying that. So we're gonna get rid of this one. I'm nearing the end of this glass of wine. I realize now that I probably should have eaten a little bit more before I started this video, but cheers to being 20 something and having my 18th midlife crisis. I guess in my case it means that I need to clean out all my books. Okay, now we are actually on my floor because I'm an idiot and forgot that my tripod can completely collapse. So here we are, but you know what? It's late and I'm tipsy. This shelf is the I'm an adult and read adult books shelf. So all of my books I actually read for school that I ended up keeping as an English lit major, you read a lot of books. A lot of them are trash, but a lot of them are actually pretty good. All right, so to start off with this shelf, we have actually the only play that I've kept, which is Good Night Desdemona, Good Morning Juliet by Anne-Marie MacDonald. Picture of Dorian Gray I'm obviously keeping because it was great. Strange Case of Dr. Jenkins and Mr. Hyde, I think I can get rid of. Tests of the Dubavi or Dubervilles or Duberville or however the hell you say it, I'm gonna get rid of because I did, or I did really like this book, but uh, I'm not gonna reread it. Definitely keeping Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood because damn it, Margaret Atwood, ow, that also really hurt. I never liked any of Margaret Atwood's works. And then I read this one and I was like, ugh, she got me, you know? So keeping this one because I've already reread it like three times. These books are also ones I read for school. Uh, Greengrass Running Water by Thomas King. I think I'm gonna get rid of. White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I'm glad I read it, but I'm never going to reread it again. So I'll get rid of those ones too. Along with Margaret Lawrence's The Diviners, which was not as bad as I was expecting it to be. But like I said, I'm not gonna reread it. Obviously I'm keeping Night Circus and Seven of <laughs> I always do that with this book. It's not even because I've had alcohol. The Seven Husbands, Evelyn Hugo, 100% keeping. And then here is what I call my little like books about books section, the Invisible Library trio. Uh, and then we also have one of my new favorites, which is the library of the unwritten it's a library in hell with like ghost and demon librarians which is definitely where i want to go when i die the library at mount char is not the place i want to go when i die in fact this is like so fucked up but like it's so weird that i need to keep it oop and my mind almost fell over jane Eyre. excuse you sir it's not your turn yet do i keep jane Eyre? oh god there is so much dust in the air <laughs> Fuck it, I'll keep it, why not? So, If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. I only sort of liked it, but I bought it in New York. I shall keep this one only for memory purposes. Memorial purposes? Memory purposes? I'll keep it. The Virgin Cure and The Birth House by Amy McKay are some of my favorite books, historical fiction, that I will keep. And then I have a bunch of very fancy editions of like Grimm's fairy tales that I'll definitely keep. Air Awakens by Elise Kova. I have signed. What do you guys think about getting rid of signed copies? I just, I feel weird because like, my name is on it. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna keep this because it's trashy and I loved it. So yeah, okay, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it for that reason. And I'm also gonna keep Tempest because like, I love me the Tempest. I wonder, oh my gosh, am I gonna have room if I, if I put them like this? They're gonna fit. <gasps> Amazing! This hasn't fit on this shelf like this in like a year. Ooh, this is very precarious, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, so here that I can just 
lounge in front of. This is my final shelf that holds a lot of my middle grade and some poetry because I just didn't know where else to put it. But now I have gaps, so who knows what's gonna happen. Power of Introverts, The Quiet Power by Susie Kane, because I really liked it, but like I'm not gonna reread it because I don't really reread nonfiction, and some kid is really gonna need this, so we're gonna donate that one. I'll keep Whiskey Words in a Shovel number three, because number three is the only good one. And I'm also going to keep Always Raining here because this is a local pair of girls that draw this and it's just, it's so fun. And then I'm keeping my friend's poetry book. This is my best friend's book. It's very exciting. I have it on my shelf now. So we're keeping that one. Uh, I'll keep my Amanda Lovelace. I'll keep my Michael Faudet. I'll keep my Langleaf. Both the Nikita Gill books that I have because she's just such a good writer. Oh my god, I love her. We have the whole original Percy Jackson series that, like, look at those spine creases. Just look at those. Oh man, I love this so much. So I had Sun Dancer and The Prophecy of Stones, which are both books that I got rid of when I was like 13 and going through that phase of like, I'm an adult now, I don't need these. Ugh. I finally, I found both of them in thrift stores kind of by accident. I'm so glad that I did because this has such, so much nostalgia. So we're keeping those ones along with uh, The Tale of Emily Windsnap, which is a mermaid book that I just love. A Wrinkle in Time. I don't think I'm going to reread because it was good. Like I liked it a lot. I have fond memories of it, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep into the land of the unicorns because, oh man, childhood. So the Copper Gauntlet and the Iron Trial, I'm going to get rid of because even though I actually went to the opening event for this one and got it signed, again, signed copies, but I just, I'm not going to read the rest of them, so I'm going to focus my attention on their other works. Moon Silver, another unicorn book, keeping that one. I'm keeping this one because this is another one of my friend Erin Latimer, author Erin Latimer's books. <laughs> like one of her first ones that she gave me. Oh, hey, here's another book by my author friend E. Latimer. <laughs> keeping this one and so be it. What a good one to end on. I love this book so much and I'm so happy that I found a copy of it. I did good. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Hello? Oh, are there any survivors? <laughs> Look at all this. I don't need all of this. It feels so strange. Like there's so many gaps in my shelf and I feel so free, but also so worried, but also so tired. God. I definitely stayed up way too late doing this, but you know what? Sometimes that's just what you gotta do. I feel like this light is getting brighter. I'm gonna have to clean up a lot of books before I can go to bed today. But that's the decision that I made. I'm trying really hard to come up with some kind of like witty remark on that, but just there's not enough neurons firing in there after two glasses of wine. Please leave down below if you think that I'm making a grave mistake with any of these. I honestly don't think I am though. Like I haven't reached for these again since getting them. So that really says something. And you know what? I have a ton and I'm gonna donate and I'm gonna let friends go through them and then I will see if I can trade in whatever I have left. And the trade-ins will keep me in new releases for a little while without having to, you know, pay absorbent amounts. So here's to everybody that's made it this far through the video. I need to go to bed. Maybe you should go to bed. Maybe in the morning I'll film a small clip to insert uh, <laughs> to see if I regret any of my decisions. Hello everybody, this is next day Rachel. Um, I also decided to film at like 10 p.m. One regret, just a single regret, and that is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. I am going to reread this one, and then if I like it, I'll keep it, and if I don't, then I will donate it. And that is the only thing that Slightly Tipsy Rachel made a mistake on, but the rest of it can go. Thank you all for watching. You know where I click to like the video, you know where I click to subscribe. Mm. Mm. I hope you guys are having a nice day or night wherever you are, and I will see you all next week. Bye!